Is the Jaguar E-Type still an icon, even if it has an electric heart transplant? That's the question many will ask themselves when faced with this, the Jaguar E-Type Zero. Handiwork of Jaguar Land Rover Classic, it's currently a one-off retrofit of an E-Type Series 1.5 Roadster given a bespoke electric powertrain. The project began when a well-heeled E-Type owner asked Jaguar Land Rover Classic to come up with a zero emissions version of their car. Concept Zero took that 1968 E-Type and dropped in a fully electric 220 kilowatt drivetrain instead. It's good for 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds, a full second quicker than the original gasoline car. Still, to suggest it was a simple swap from the Jaguar XK6 cylinder engine that once was underneath the curvaceous hood is to do the engineers a disservice. In fact, they came up with a completely unique system specially designed for the car, starting with a lithium-ion battery pack that has the same dimensions and similar weight to that of the original engine. Behind it, there's the electric motor and a reduction gear where the gearbox would have been on the original car. A new prop shaft's been used to link that to a carryover differential and final drive. In the cabin, the big difference is in the instrumentation. Gone are the traditional analog dials, replaced with a full LCD that shows analog styled graphics along with EV information. Jaguar also changed the car's headlamps, switching to more power efficient LEDs that match the original E Type's look. Range is expected to be about 170 miles from its 40 kWh battery, which takes around 6 to 7 hours to recharge on a domestic outlet. Importantly, the whole thing is built around the original E-Type structure too, which means the conventional engine could be swapped back in later on. The replacement powertrain itself could have been more powerful. In fact, Jaguar artificially limited it to keep the optimum driving experience akin to the original car. Whether we'll see any more of them depends on the reaction from E-Type owners. Jaguar says it'll gauge that feedback and make a decision on whether to commercialize the project in the coming months.